we have seen that we could use the general um, general um, share formula to calculate the uh, vertical share the general share formula is basically FV that is used to express the general and the vertical share is VQ divided by IB however for a I beam there is um, uh, another practice that is used uh, industry wise and also uh, basically all over the world internationally um, the I beam looks like this so we're going to show that uh, the formula that is used to calculate the vertical share in I beam so this is the uh, beams uh, look like uh, so just cut that and so uh, this is the I beam and then you have support here and somewhere there and the load is applied like that and then uh, what is the vertical share now to um, develop that formula I would like to use an example uh, 2 by 4 example if you place a 2 by 4 like this I say uh, this is a 2 by 4 piece like that and then it is simply supported from both side the load is applied like this and then this this is 2 this is 4 the height is 4 and then if we calculate the I um, inertia uh, with respect to the neutral axis is going to be 1 by 12 B H Q which is uh, 1 by 12 B is 2 in this case and H is uh, 4 cube if we calculate this is going to be 10.667 inch 4 let's say this is in inch 2 by 4 is in 2 inch by uh, 4 inch now if we lay this piece flat um, let's say the 2 by 4 is lay flat like this and then he got same thing simply supported like that and the load is applied like that now the uh, H height is 2 and then uh, 4 is the base now I equals uh, 1 by 12 B H cube we can calculate that 1 by 12 B is 4 H is 2 cube so we calculate that it's going to be 2.667 inch power 4 let me tell that this this define this i is 4 by 2 it's not really 2 by 4 anymore just because it's not placed the way it should be um, so the name comes from actually how it is uh, used in in practice so if you have seen carpentry they never place 2 by 4 like this unless there is some specific reason for that all 2 by 4 are places like that so it can it is called 2 by 4 but in case if it's placed like this then it should be like lay flat instead of vertical type of arrangement like this then this should be called a 4 by 2 not a uh, 2 by 4 so if you, you can see that 2 by 4 is about uh, four times stronger if you place the way it should be than if you place like a 4 by 2 so it is about like four times stronger so it's going to carry almost like four times not exactly the same but we can um, almost closely to four times more um, uh, share um, stress than uh, if you if you place it lay flat same thing if you look at this i beam it has two flanges so here is one flange at the bottom and then here is another flange at the top so this flange arrangement will not really take much stress compared to the the wave this middle piece is called wave like that so I can kind of extend like that all the way maybe up to that like this like this so this part is called wave and the uh, depth of the beam is uh, usually d uh, the depth and then wave thickness is use tw so we can kind of extend that up to this sorry about that and then uh, uh, this piece so the 
if you look at this arrangement this flange will not take a lot of uh, vertical stress the wave will take in in it has been shown that about um, the wave and the flange only takes about um, uh, 10 to 15 percent of the total share and the wave credit is uh, 85 to um, 90 percent of the total um, share so instead of using this complex formula fb equal vqib and they kind of simplify to they call average um, share formula the average word is not like mean it's just like average it's kind of like a raw not so precise something like that so that is the meaning of the average here like an average person you know not it's not really a mean this average is more like a qualitative um, um, way of saying that it's not so precise so average share formula uh, vertical share so we can use just simply um, use that share stress formula we know that stress is equal to uh, force by area force by area so here shear stress is vertical shear stress is expressed by fv and then force shear force is expressed by v and if we calculate the area cross section area so you can see the depth is a rectangle with uh, depth d height and then uh, t thickness so we can just simply write vv dt w tw is the thickness wave thickness and d is the depth so we could use this formula to calculate in fact in the industry standard they use this internationally to calculate the 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 share stress uh, in beams and this uh, results about 10 to 15 percent less right um, that's okay so actual beam will actually in fact carry more than what is calculated so i think that's 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 not uh, something unsafe it's okay so this is the average share formula you could use that uh, in the exam if you say straight uh, beam um, i beam quotient and there is no uh, part of quotient however the quotient will also comes using this fv equal to vq by iv formula so you must be familiar with both of these formulas